Greetings, students of Strixhaven. I am Professor Cornelius. Now that you know the myriad of ways one can become a practitioner of the magic arts, you must learn how magic is categorized. It is broken into groups called schools. Each one focuses on a different aspect of magical power. These schools are abjuration, conjuration, divination, enchantment, evocation, illusion, necromancy, and transmutation. Learning about what each school can do can help you become the magical master you always wish to be. Abjuration is the study of protective magic. These spells can shield you from harm, ward off trespassers from your sacred places, and even banish creatures to other planes of existence. Famous spells from this school include shield, banishment, and anti-magic field. Harness the weave with abjuration magic, and ensure the safety of yourself and your colleagues. Better safe than sorry. Conjuration is the study of external planes of existence, and the paths between them. To understand the nature of another realm is a tricky subject, and so are summonings. The stronger creature you wish to conjure, the more power and care you must take to ensure all goes smoothly. For example, the Find Familiar spell is a famous conjuration spell. It summons a little spirit that takes on the form of an owl, rabbit, or a pseudo-dragon, or a quasit, to do minor tasks for you. These spirits are easy to control, but more powerful beings, such as elementals from the planes of the Four Elements, have to be bound to you with certain binding words. If those binding words are not properly spoken, or you lose your concentration on the spell, then the beast is free. Sometimes it will go back home. Sometimes it will attack the one who summoned it. Still, a well-timed conjuration of a celestial or an elemental can turn the tide of combat. Walk the paths between the realms with conjuration. Just remember to speak the binding words. Divination! With this magic, one can see into the future. Gaze upon the streams of time and space. You can see what has happened, what is yet to be, and you can know of events happening hundreds of leagues away right now. Common divination spells include scrying, identify, and divination, of course. Reveal the unseen with the divination school of magic. Enchantment magic is the power to overwhelm the mind itself. Through the weave, enchanters control minds, influence emotions, and even read the thoughts of others. You can turn your enemy into a loyal friend. Common enchantment spells include Friends, Confusion, and Dominate Monster. Command the very minds of all with enchantment magic. But understand, those you attempt to enchant will be aware of the enchantment if they resist your magic. And do not take over the minds of teachers to get better grades. I already have a whole semester I can't remember. Evocation Magic. A fan favorite. To command magic in its purest form is to wield powerful energy and unleash devastation on the battlefield. The most famous of all evocation spells is Fireball, channeling magic into an orb of flame that explodes like a bomb on impact. But not all evocation magic is destructive. Talented clerics can wield this raw energy to heal rather than harm, through the second most famous evocation spell, Cure Wounds. Still. Evocation magic lets one command raw magic itself. If subtlety is more your style, there is the school of illusion. Illusion magics trick the senses. They make you see and hear things that aren't there, and some can even plant images into the minds of others. Illusions are great at getting out of a bad spot, avoiding fights altogether, and finding the cleverest of solutions to your problems. Common illusion spells are minor illusion, and the ever-useful Invisibility spell. Please note that the use of Invisibility is forbidden on college grounds. If the School of Evocation magic is the most well-known, then the School of Necromancy is the most infamous. While this School of Magic can be used to summon the undead through the ever-infamous Animate Dead spell, that's not its truest nature. Necromancy, in its purest form, is the study of life and death, and the connections between the two. Necromancers can harness this connection through the weave. Indeed, one may raise zombies and skeletons to do their bidding, 
but one can also use spells such as Spare the Dying and Resurrection to bring the dead back to life. Not as the undead, but as the beings they once were. Be careful where you practice necromancy. Not all in the world are as enlightened as we here at Strixhaven, and the summoning of undead is often punished by imprisonment or death. The final school is a personal favorite of mine, Transmutation. With this magic, you learn to alter the properties of the environment. Objects, creatures, even people, if you wish. The most famous transmutation spell is Polymorph. You can change a frog into a dinosaur, or a human into a lion. The plant growth spell can summon a whole forest in mere moments. You could even use transmutation to turn lead into gold. Alter the very state of matter around you through transmutation magics. Well, that's the lesson for today. I do hope you know more about the schools of magic than when this video began. Pick one and you'll be a master wizard in no time. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want more magic, uh, leave a comment down below and also tell me your favorite school of magic or your favorite spell. Maybe I'll do a video on it. And share the video around if you want to help support the channel. And don't forget to have fun on your next adventure.